Welcome to our lecture online. Now we have the sine to the fourth power of a, and we're trying to show that that's equivalent to 1 8 times the quantity 3 minus 4 times the cosine of 2a plus the cosine of 4a. So how do we do that? Well, let's start with the following. How about if we write that the sine to the fourth power of a is equal to the sine square of a quantity squared? And then we can say that each one of those can be rewritten as one half times one minus the cosine of two a, but the whole thing is still squared. All right, now if we squared what's in the brackets, this would be equal to one quarter times the first term squared minus twice the product of the two, which is two times the cosine of two a, plus the last term squared, which is plus the cosine square of 2a, like this. All right, I think what, can we, what we can do now is we can take this quantity right here and write it as, let's see, we're trying to get this. So we want this to be expressed as a 4a, so then we can do the same thing with it over here, but then for the cosine instead of the sine. So this can be written as 1 quarter times 1 minus 2 times the cosine of 2a plus, here we can write 1 half times 1 plus the cosine. Instead of 2a now, we're going to have 4a twice the angle. This. And of course, that whole thing is still squared. Oh, no, no, it's no longer squared because I did the equivalent. Oh, got to be careful. The cosine squared of 2a is equal to this, so I don't have to square it anymore. So that's good. All right, so let's write this out now. So this is equal to 1 quarter times 1 minus 2 times the cosine of 2a plus 1 half plus 1 half times the cosine of 4a. So now I want to factor out a 2, or 1 over 2, so what I'm going to do is as follows. This is equal to 1 quarter times 2 over 2 minus 4 over 2 times the cosine of 2a plus 1 half plus 1 half times the cosine of 4a. Now I can factor out a 1 over 2, and that becomes 1 over 8 times I have a 2 plus 1 then, that gives me 3, minus 4 times the cosine of 2a, plus the cosine of 4a. And I think I got what I needed to get. So this is 1 8 times 3 minus 4 times the cosine of 2a, plus the cosine of 4a, which is exactly what I was looking for, and that is equal to the sine to the fourth power of a. And so there is the identity of the sine to the fourth power of a, and that is how we derive it, or verify it, either way, that is how it's done.